Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to draw realistic iris in your realistic portraits. I think the iris is very important, especially because it makes all the eyes special and different from each other. So that is also why I wanted to make this uh, video about it. I will explain all the basic steps and hopefully it will be helpful for you as well. So let's get into it right away. These are materials I will be using, a smooth Bristol paper, graphite pencils, namely HB, 2B, 4B and 6B pencil, a pencil eraser for uh, erasing details, but don't worry if you don't have a pencil eraser, you can use uh, a kneaded eraser shaped into a point or an ordinary eraser with sharp edges and also blending tools, a soft paintbrush and blending stamp. As always, I start with the basic shape. I already made a tutorial on drawing the basic shape of an eye, but here we're focusing only on the iris shape, which is not so hard to draw, especially from the front view. The iris is a circle, usually hidden uh, partly by the eyelids, mostly uh, by the upper eyelid. And the pupil is also a perfect circle in the middle of the iris. We still talk about the front view. Also in the realism, please pay attention to the light before you start shading the iris. We need to find the light, the light source, where the light is coming from and where the light reflection will be. You know that iris has a convex form. So here in this picture, the light is coming from the top and it creates light reflection in the upper part of the iris. Before I start shading, I try to draw little guidelines uh, of some special features in it. Uh, for example, in this beautiful eye, uh, there are not only the structural spokes, uh, but also some various shapes and different values. And I also add little texture as a basic shading and I blend it finally softly with a paintbrush. Right now I'm adding a little wrinkle around the pupil, most of eyes have it, but it depends on the reference you're drawing from, so watch it carefully during your drawing. And I'm using only H pencil to do it in the beginning and then I will darken some parts with softer pencils according to the reference. Now I'm adding little darker values, uh, especially trying to add the darkest and the most significant parts in the iris. They will be usually darkened in the end as well. Uh, now I will take a softer pencil 3B to darken the edge of the iris. Again, most of eyes have the edge dark, so try to draw it dark as well. Uh, if you look at any iris closely, you will see there is not just a dark band or line. There are little streaks or races, or how you call it in English, coming to the rest of the iris, to the colored part. So let's draw uh, those little sparks or uh, those little dark shapes as well. I will also darken the other darkest parts while having 3B in my hand. It means those little tear shapes in the lower part of the iris and also the ring around the pupil.
Now I will take 4B pencil, it's a little softer pencil than 3B, great, and darken the darkest parts of the edge. So I will also add uh, some more dark texture in the rest of the iris in the middle colored band, also using 4B pencil. After creating the texture I use a blending stamp to blend all the strokes together and basically uh, to soften all the lines and every time you add more layers and blend it together it definitely adds some depth to it and makes your drawing look more realistic. And now I just continue doing the same with the left side. I will also use 4B pencil to darken the edge. To make your iris look uh, more natural, do not forget to blend the edge of the iris with a blending stamp to make it look softer, to make the edge look softer. Something like gradually merging uh, the iris and the white part of the eyeball. The edge is not really sharp in the real life. And I also use a pencil eraser to add some highlights to it because if you look at the iris there are also some really light almost white lines and dots and shapes it can be a light color of the iris or it means that it's a lighter value in the gray scale or it can be a highlight caused by the light now we will take the softest pencil I have. In the normal set of graphite pencils it's uh, 8B or 9B pencil. But these are still not dark enough for me so I use usually a uh, graphite aquarelle pencil 6B, a black color, and I fill the pupil with it. Be careful while drawing around the light reflection because it's impossible to erase all of the black color. Now I use 4B pencil to darken the area around the pupil and blend it all together with a blending stamp. And in the end I just add some more details according to the reference. I try to darken most uh, the most significant shapes and lines with 4B pencil and then create even more texture. This light uh, little lines between these darkest parts with HB pencil, uh, these thin small details will again add more realistic looks to your drawing. 
So the more details you draw, the more realistic look you will achieve. The iris is partly covered with the upper eyelid, so we won't draw all of it naturally. Uh, we will create shadow under the lid, under the upper eyelid. It means this part under the lid will be really dark, but it doesn't mean that we will draw just a black band and that's it. No, <laughs> we will also create some texture using 4B pencil first and then we will darken it using a 6B pencil. I will also use a blending stump to blend it all together and also blend the edges. And try to be careful around the light reflection. Uh, some reflections are just white, so leave them without any shading. And some uh, reflection uh, has uh, a light value, something like light gray value. So just uh, use some harder pencils to create uh, soft shading.
and I will leave it like this because in the further drawing I will draw the lid and also the lashes which will be over uh, the, the iris partly, especially the white light reflection. So that's all for me for today. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. A more detailed tutorial and real-time tutorial is on my Patreon account, so make sure to check that out. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to turn on post notifications because you don't want to miss any of my new videos. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!